Thanks, Chair. Number two, under, under 10, Certificates of Recognition, uh, Bob Aries, Retirement as uh, ag Depart ag Agriculture from the uh, uh, UT Ag, ag System. So. Not to approve the amendment. Second. Agenda? We're still on the agenda, sorry. Is that the agenda? You're on a motion yes. to approve? Okay. Thank you. With your uh, agenda. Motion and a second with the correction or with the addition. Any other additions? Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Uh, approval of the minutes. So moved. Uh, Commissioner Shell through um, Sorry. motion. Sorry. A good second. Uh, any more? Any discussion of the minutes of the last of the October thirteenth meeting? Uh, All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. Uh, Mr. Drivers abstaining. Um, recognition of the public. Is there anyone who would like to come and speak on an agenda item? I know Mr. Foster, Commissioner Foster said he did, but if you want to wait till we get to that yeah. item, you can. Anybody else want to speak to an agenda item? Chairman, I just want to thank yes, the sir. ladies I'm here for the HAP project. There's the engineer. If you have any questions, you can. Okay, we'll call on you to speak at that point if we need to. Okay, any other questions? Or any, anybody else in the public? Okay, mm -hmm. um, seeing none, uh, public recognition is closed. Before the chairman, I have no reports. County Mayor? No report, Mr. Chairman. Old business. No, none. New business. Veteran service report is, I think I saw it in here. Yeah, it's attached right after the minutes. Don't require any activity. Right? Uh, that doesn't. No. Um, what, what's with the director, the veteran service officer? Is that, has that been filled or it is it has been filled. It has been filled. Okay. Rebecca that worked at that office, we had interviews and, and Ben, you were part of that process. We had uh, somebody representing the um, VFW, uh, the uh, Vietnam Veterans Chapter 240, okay. and uh, myself, my administrative assistant, Angie, and uh, we interviewed the three top candidates, I think. Two of those candidates stood out, and so we ended up hiring Rebecca, that already works here, that was the assistant to Mr. Eubanks. Mm -hmm. She's got all of her certifications. She's able to uh, submit all the, um, the forms and the documentation to the veterans' um, office and to help our vets, so we hired her, and we actually today I hired the second interview to uh, interview her, interviewed well with her to fill her position. So we now have both of those uh, positions filled and I feel really, really good about it. And it was a unanimous decision. Okay. And you Rebecca's to add to that, Ben? Okay. And Rebecca's doing, been doing that job. She's been doing that job for quite for some, some time, time. For about two years, I think, or maybe three. Well, Mr. Eubanks was out for quite a while. That's right. Had to fill and in so, for him there, so. She, well, and you recall how we used to have to wait till the night of the commission meeting to get you this report. Correct. And you noticed for about the last year you've been getting it with your packet. Right. And I know it's a hip issue, and you're not supposed to talk about it specifically, but I do think uh, for the last probably two years, Mr. Eubanks has had uh, his so, struggle. He's mm -hmm. had so many health problems. Yeah, and uh, so this is a, a welcome uh, change, and uh, I think uh, it's going to be wonderful for our veterans. Um, you know, we have the seventh largest veteran population out of the counties in the state of Tennessee, so that's uh, pretty significant. And, of course, their benefits that they've earned brings in a lot of money to the families and, and uh, the veterans that, that need those benefits and benefits account. And there's maybe, uh, Mr. Ranks, sorry, uh, maybe in one of the coming meetings, I'm, I know her, but introduce her. Yeah, it'd be good if she came to a That'd be good. commission uh, meeting. I can ask her and help me remember that, Ben, to, to come to the county commission meeting. This coming county commission meeting, introduce yourself. Okay. Anything else on the veteran service reports? Uh, election of chair and vice chairman of the legislative committee. Uh, chairman, I have a Mr. Goo. motion. Uh, but ke keeping with precedence, uh, uh, how we've done this year, uh, literally 99.9% uh, .9 of the time, and with the COVID year, I make a nomination. Mr. Ring remain as chair, and Mr. Sullivan replaces 
probably the best commission in history, uh, uh, the vice chair. <laughs> That's my motion. Okay, there's a motion for Baker Rain as chair and Danny Sullivan as vice chair. Any more, any more motions? <laughs> yeah, I, was, I am ignoring part of that. I was thinking, <laughs> I, 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 I was thinking part which of is why we're supporting I'm going to second it, but I'm considering <laughs> an amendment. <laughs> <laughs> not about not about Danny. Just some of the other <laughs> any, any more uh, any, uh, any other nominations? All right, um, then we'll have a vote. Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, I really did. I enjoy being chairman of this committee. This is the best, but the West, West one I've been chairman of, so I enjoy it. Um, all right. Thank you. Um, appoint Thomas Akers as a judicial commissioner. So moved. Second. And a second. Uh, any more? Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. Uh, certificate, of re certificate of recognition for Bob Airy. Uh, Bob Airy has retired from the uh, 4-H office, the Ag office. Mm -hmm. So moved. Second. second. Motion and a second. Any more discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. Zoning. The Lewis Head Commercial Project. Remember, this is just the docketing to get it to the commission floor. It's not the place for it to be discussed. Okay. So moved. Okay. I have a comment, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Foster asked if he could make a comment on this. Yes. <clears throat> In the, uh, I attended the September planning commission meeting, and the day after, Mr. Lee here, who is the engineer for Grand Lee's uh, design, who's the uh, engineer for the project, Lewis Head Project, up there at the intersection of 109 and Roberts Road. And um, he sent me an email, said that he could hear all of my comments, but if you don't mind sharing the concerns that have not been addressed to the satisfaction of neighbors, we'll make every reasonable effort to do so. So that same day on the 23rd, I sent him back an email saying, the, and I'm going to summarize, the uh, residents have two main concerns were about the quality of drinking water and the potential for their water to be uh, affected by the garage um, and the narrowness of curvy nature, it, uh, coupled with the increased traffic on Roberts Road. Um, and if I can refresh you guys' memory, it, uh, we have a petition that was signed by 50 residents that uh, complained about that. And I solely wanted uh, the engineering firm to have a public meeting with the residents to uh, address their concerns. They feel left out of the process. They feel like their uh, concerns have been pushed aside. And uh, then I sent uh, this. Uh, uh, I feel you're going to do a much better job addressing the residents' concerns to, to, to alleviate some of the resentment towards your project. So on October 13, uh, Mr. Lee sent me back a, a uh, letter that addresses the concerns, but I, 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 to my knowledge, have not seen any addressing of the concerns to the residents. And what I wanted was for the residents and this engineering firm to me to uh, iron out any differences they may have or misunderstandings that might be with this project because they are adamantly opposed. 50 residents along those roads, uh, that road is adamantly opposed to this project. So I would ask uh, that this committee uh, ask to defer this, uh, uh, any kind of vote. Is there, is there going to be a vote on this? Okay. Anyway, well, I just want to go. And if, if I could. There's a process that goes through. This is its second reading. It's been noticed. It has to go on to the commission floor okay. for it to be turned down. All right. Uh, so. Approved, turned down, whatever it's going to happen. Okay. Well, then it's just my intention to inform uh, this committee that I intend to, to vote against it until I can get them to agree to have a public meeting with the residents because they will be, those people uh, that live up there are close knit um, and it's a tight community and they will be against this uh, project come to get go if, if something isn't done to address. Mr. Chair, this thing. Okay. yes, sir. Can I ask Mr. Foster a question? Certainly, Mr. Foster. Um, is Josh, can Josh help alleviate this and get them together, or what's the issue? I, I, I can. I'll be glad to, to work with Mr. Lee to uh, as part of our process is to forget something rezoned. But one neighborhood meeting is required. Um, they have had a neighborhood meeting um, with with the folks. It was in the midst of several months ago when COVID, as it still is, is still going on. So it was done electronically, uh, which they were allowed to do. Um, and that some some attendance, I think there were probably around, uh, uh, I don't know, a dozen to 20 folks in participation. It's kind of hard to tell because people were looking into the phone and that kind of stuff. 
Um, but, I mean, uh, Mr. Foster has been very clear that he feels like an additional meeting just to help get those folks to, you know, air out their concerns, specifically toward water quality and, and what, what the, if the project engineers propose to do. I mean, there's nothing, uh, zoning-wise, where we would be opposed to an additional meeting. I don't think there would be any harm in it if Mr. Leaf is willing to, is willing to do with the property owner. And, and uh, you know, doing it, doing it electronically could be a viable option as well this time. I don't mind to speak if you would like me to or... Mr. Yeah, go ahead, Mr. Head, since you were brought up in the discussion. Go ahead. Um, sure. So, I'm not opposed to another public meeting. Um, as Josh spoke, we did have one. We sent letters out to everyone in 500 feet of the project with options to call in or um, a link via Zoom meeting. There was, I don't, I don't know the exact count, as Josh spoke about, I'll agree that there was 12 or 20 in attendance, plus maybe multiples within each call. Um, we also, as part of the process with the public hearings, send out certified letters to everyone touching the project that can come and speak at the planning commission meetings. We've also sent out certified letters for people to come and speak at next week's meeting, um, which is where we are trying to address their concerns. I apologize to Commissioner Foster. I did not take it that we needed another public meeting or else I would have scheduled that. Um, so again, I'm not opposed to it. I'll run it by my clients, see if they're not opposed to it. With COVID and breakdowns and quorums, this project's been delayed a very long time. Uh, so obviously it's you know delayed another month, but if it makes the body feel more comfortable with the project, we're certainly not opposed to full transparency because I feel like that we have addressed the concerns as best that we can within the tools that we have to address them uh, with traffic studies and even the county's own stormwater ordinance goes a long way to address the concerns of the groundwater and surface water runoff from the sites. And in some ways, I know it's hard to understand, but in some ways this development's gonna do more for stormwater than it may not stop it, where it's getting herbicides and, and chemical sprays on it and no regulation uh, except you know, from the EPA, but not in application. So at least with this, it's an open space, the stormwater controls clean the water. But, uh, I'm not opposed to public meeting, and I'll run that by the client, and you guys can let me know how that affects next week's Okay, as, as Ms. Denon said, the uh, if we approve this here, which is pretty much perfunctory, um, it'll go to the next, because it's been posted for next month's meet, next week's meeting, we will have it on the agenda, and we will have the ability to vote on it at that time. If there's a motion to do other things that will be, that can be brought up and be voted on, but at this point, it will be on next. It'll it will be on next. And, and we've already sent out the public hearing notices for right. Next week. All right, we'll be up to the commission next week to decide what to do with it. Uh, any more discussion? They, they, yeah, they, yeah. Can, they can request a deferral. They could. The That's correct. They but it will be on the agenda for next week. Yes. I, I, if we, if we pass it. If we pass it, right, correct, I'm sorry, yes. I, I, I know a little about this project. I, I do know, I think I'm safe in saying that the uh, committee that this has been before has scrutinized this project as much that, that I know about in recent memory because it's uh, two or three things going on. One of them is it's, it's kind of the first thing on the new 109, so it's getting it's getting under the magnifying glass. This this man who's wanting to develop this, to the knowledge that I have, talking to him and some other people, he has done everything that the committee has asked him to do. You, you hand him something and says you got to do this, he goes and do it. He's he's been working on this for an extended period of time because we had one meeting that couldn't be held because there was not a quorum for the committee that he was supposed to meet before, so he got put off another 30 days or whatever. Now, uh, engineers are great people, but they don't work for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he's had this fellow back here. We had that discussion before. Yeah, yeah. he's had this. Uh, he's had this fellow back here kind of tied up for the last how many months? When did when did this thing first? When did you first get the call? You know, uh, it's been in, even probably been in the end of last year. Okay. So we, we've, uh, I mean, it, and I don't, I don't have any objection to, to, to scrutinizing or a little over scrutinizing. For, and I understand the community when something like this shows up in the community, but 
There will be development on 109 Highway between Portland and Galveston. Yeah, yeah. It'll be now, and it'll also be later. So we do need we do need to resolve the issue if they truly have concerns. But when you talk about when you talk about water, I think that'd be the last thing I'd want to do is to uh, contaminate somebody's water in the atmosphere in this day and time. <coughs> You'll get more trouble doing that than you would killing their dog. You know, you just you just can't get by with you just can't get by with contaminating people's well water. You you won't uh, you won't survive that. So I, I don't uh, I I I, I kind of believe that all the safeguards are in place. And again, we make the rules, and once we make the rules and publish those rules, and we got a citizen who picks up those rules and goes by those rules verbatim and does exactly what we have deemed necessary and appropriate to have to be done on a project. And if you follow these rules and these are the outcomes from the tests and whatever, then we are basically saying, if you'll do this, then we'll approve your project. And that's what we've said to this man. We've, we've published it in black and white and said, you meet this and, and, and that'll give you a clear path to approval with Sumner County government. Now that's kind of the that's kind of the statement. It's either gets said or unsaid, but it's inferred. And I think this man has done I think he's went spent lots of money and gone as far as we've asked him to. Everything, if I'm not mistaken, Josh, anything that this man's been asked to do, he's complied with us in this process of bringing us to this point, if I understand it. Larry, I'm confused on where you stand. <laughs> yeah. Now you really want to know what I'm <laughs> And, um, and I'm not saying if, if, if there's a problem it needs to be dealt with. There's no question about that. And we need to make these people as comfortable as we possibly can. But I don't know what else we'd tell the man to do. I don't know what we'd use for the criteria to turn him down. I just don't know what we do. I don't think we've had a motion yet on this. Uh, somebody care to make a motion? Move to the floor. Uh, Moved by second. Commissioner Good to send to the floor and seconded by Chairman Langford. Uh, it's a motion to move it up to the floor. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Uh, so it'll be on next, week, next week's agenda. Uh, B, Summer County Regional Planning Commission resolution. A resolution recommending adoption of proposed amendments to the Developmental Services Department's fee schedule. Make this is first reading, and this would go to the December meeting. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So next, our December our next legislative committee meeting will then re do a second reading. Say, right. any, is there a motion to send this to the next so legislative Sorry. committee? It's Chris Taylor, seconded by Paul Good. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Opposed? Okay. And the same applies, it looks like, to C-393-395 Preacher Robertson Road rezoning. Uh, this is first. This will be first reading, and it will go to second reading at our next legislative committee. So moved. moved by Commissioner second. Chris Taylor, second by Chairman Nightford. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. And D looks like the same thing. First reading of the Center County Regional Planning Commission so resolution, twenty twenty oh four. Motion by Commissioner Good, second by Commissioner Taylor. Any more discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Nay. Okay. Motion Anything again. else for the agenda? And go to the meeting. All right. Uh, you, man. Motion to adjourn. So move. So move. Okay. Adjourn. Appreciate uh, being reelected to this.